What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So Global got a major data download last night and now there are a ton of new cards that are dropping in the game within the next couple of days. So this is the full list that you can find on DBZ Space and as you can see there's a lot of crap here but I'm not going to go over all of them. There are just a few that I really want to highlight for you guys that I think are extra exciting. But first things first. I know there's this one card that a lot of you have been curious about and there's been a lot of rumors floating around about him over the last couple of weeks but I'm happy to confirm for you guys that LR Bardock is officially coming to global within the next couple of days. Here's the SSR, there's the TUR and last but not least the LR himself and I'm gonna be honest man the LR art for LR Bardock is one of the best in the game. It just looks so good and all you see right now is a flat image but with that LR effect going on too it just it's fantastic. It's really really good. Now unfortunately he's not one of the best LRs in the game though. He based on what I've seen at least and based on the showcases I've watched I think most people think of him as one of the worst LRs in the game. Now I can't speak to it myself because I've never tested him out but most people don't see him as that good of an LR card, not saying he's not a good unit overall, but the bar for LRs generally is a little bit higher, right? So when it comes to other LRs, he doesn't really match up, I guess, but still, he, he looks awesome. And if you guys are Bardock fans, who am I to stop you from summoning, right? So if you want to summon for him, make sure that you have the stones ready, and also make sure that you farm the medals you need for him from the new Bardock story event as well. So yeah, Bardock is coming, and also I am 99% sure that he will have his own featured legendary summon banner, so he's not going to be part of some double raids, rising dragon carnival banner or anything like that, he's not going to be unfeatured, he should have his own featured banner where he'll have around a 0.3% chance to be pulled. It's still not great. It's still not good by any means, but it's gonna be much higher than any other banner that he will be on in the future. So if you really, really want him, then this is the banner to try to summon him on. And yeah, um, official release date is gonna be, let's see, November 11th at 10.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So there you go, guys. Within the next like two, three days, this guy will be in the game, so best of luck to everyone that's summoning. Personally, I'm skipping because there's just so much exciting stuff coming on later. Um, will be Broly banner, there's gonna be the Christmas event, obviously, and also possibly Tech Super Saiyan 4 Full Power Goku. Like, there's just so much exciting stuff that I can't be wasting my stones on a banner like this. But if you guys are summoning, best of luck to you. Okay, moving on. Next thing that I want to highlight is this new Monica. <laughs> And uh, I didn't see this coming. I don't know if anyone else really saw him coming. There's the SSR card, and there is the uh, TUR card, and it looks awesome, man. It looks really, really hilarious. Um, it's gonna be a free-to-play card. I believe he's gonna be a prize or like a like a card that you can exchange for your battlefield jewels. So he's gonna be like a battlefield reward, I guess. And uh, <laughs> yo, look at those nipples, man. They're, they're, they're those nipples are powerful. Anyways, we got. Uh, a new free-to-play Monica, and he's gonna be a representative of Universe 7 leader, key plus 3, HP attack defense plus 50%, super attack is god of destruction's lie, causes supreme damage to enemy while sacrificing 7% HP. So, that's awful. <laughs> if he had immense damage multiplier, and you, cost, and, and you lost some HP while using it, sure, I'll take that. But, this guy has a supreme damage multiplier, and he loses HP, so... Yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, for his passive though, I, yo, it's actually solid. Restricted battle, attack plus 77% for 4 turns after receiving attack, and raises attack by up to 77%. The less HP remaining, the greater the stats boost. So technically, if you are hovering around like 70% HP or something like that, then he should have at least a 100% attack buff, which isn't bad for a free-to-play card. But again, like I said, supreme damage with 7% sacrificing while sacrificing 7% HP every time you super, so definitely not a card you want to bring on like Super Battle Road or anything like that, but definitely a decent free-to-play card for sure. His links are Shattering the Limit, of course, uh, Prodigies, Infighter, Shocking Speed, Connoisseur, Godly Power, and more than meets the eye. So there you go, guys, free-to-play Monica. <laughs> if you guys have been asking for it, then congratulations, I'm happy for you. I'm definitely going to pick this guy up. I don't know if I'm going to rainbow him, though. I am a little bit tempted to just pick up five copies if we can and rainbow him and uh, <laughs> just do a showcase like a jokes showcase for him but I don't really know like I don't know if I want to waste the physical orbs let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see something like that because uh, if enough people want it 
then I'll make it happen. Because you know that I want to do whatever you guys want to see, right? So there's the Monica, and oh, also, he's gonna be a global exclusive, at least for the time being, so... Take that, JP. <laughs> Take that, JP. Okay, so we got the Monica, we got the LR uh, Bardock, uh, we got a bunch of new um, World Tournament cards as well, I believe. Uh, you know, this guy is a new World Tournament Summon card. This guy is a new one as well. So is this Yamcha. They're all going to be part of that um, Dragon Ball Saga banner. So the tickets we get, we can summon for these guys. I mean, I don't think you guys are super excited about some SRs, but uh, this Chi Chi is going to be the World Tournament reward for uh, this World Tournament. And if you guys place within the top 20,000, I believe, then you'll get at least one copy of the Chi Chi. And obviously, more copies as you progress higher in the rankings. So let's see what, he, what she does. Physical types keep plus 2, and attack and defense plus 50%. Alright. Super attack, no forgiveness. Cause supreme damage with a rare chance to stun the enemy. Okay. Passive skill is strength of a name with held. Attack enemies, attack enemies, attack and defense plus mi minus 20% for 2 turns. Key plus 3, and attack and defense plus 60% when HP is 50% or above. So, not terrible. Not terrible, but um, not good either. Very, very mediocre card, I'd say. Link skills are the Innocence, Infighter, Battlefield Diva, Incredible Adventure, and Guidance of the Dragon Ball. So if you guys are feeling like running a Dragon Ball Saga team, then she could be a good addition to that team. But overall, she's not she's not that good. She's really not that good. So I wouldn't recommend people grinding too hard, like going balls deep trying to get to like top 1000 for multiple copies of her. Just get to top 20k if you really want her, grab your one copy, and be done with it. You know, It's really not worth grinding all out for this card specifically. Um, this Dokkan Awakening for the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan is really, really good. So this is what he was before, and he is attainable from the guaranteed SSR uh, banner from the World Tournament. His Dokkan Awakening is very, very good. So he is going to be a really good support unit. Rage and Exaltation is his passive skill. AGL, Tech, and Physical Types key plus 2, and Attack and Defense plus 30%. So... Fantastic leader skill, man. Uh, not leader skill, passive skill. And he's going to be amazing on super tech if you need a good uh, support unit. If you guys have him, then congratulations. There's the Dokkan Awakening for him. And uh, I believe this is the Dokkan Awakening for the Feet Goku. Yeah, Feet Kamehameha Goku also has Dokkan Awakening. And he's going to be attack and defense plus 80% when performing a super attack. And his super causes supreme damage with a medium chance to stun the enemy. So there we go. He's going to be decent. He obviously got shot, um, shattering the limit or shafting the limit as people like to call it. So <laughs> no fierce battle. Too bad. But I mean, I wasn't expecting fierce battle either way. And we got Piccolo Jr.'s Dokkan Awakening. So there is the original card. There is the Dokkan Awakening. And he's going to be uh, still pretty bad from what I can tell. <laughs> Yeah, still pretty bad. All enemies attack and defense minus 20%. Medium chance to stun the attack enemy. Chance to turn into giant form. Um, you can throw him on your giant form team, but it's not, it's still not that good. Still not that good. Oh, one really good giant form character that we're getting, though, who will be part of the LR Bardock banner is this uh, Lord Slug, this giant form Lord Slug. So here's his SSR form, and his TUR is very solid. So he is a giant form category leader, but he's not as good as... Um, AGL Tapion, so if you want to run the best possible team, you still want to have AGL Tapion as your leader. So he gives giant form category units key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%, but he's also an extreme physical type leader, giving them key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 70%. His super attack causes supreme damage and greatly lowers defense, and his passive causes uh, gives him a attack and defense plus 80%, plus an additional 50% for 5 turns after receiving an attack, so a total of 130%. Actually, it's probably... It's probably calculated separately, so it's going to be even higher than that. It might be like 150%, 160%, something like that. So very high attack boost on his passive. And he also has a chance to turn into a giant form character up to two times with uh, additional, obviously, if you're running Tech Tapion, then not Tech Tapion, a um, AGL Tapion lead, then you'll, you have even more chances to turn into giant form because Tapion gives the plus one to, to transform, right? So... There you go, he has uh, Shafting the Limit again. Yo, I wish this card would have gotten Fierce Battle. I think it deserves Fierce Battle, but I don't make the decisions, right? So what can you do? Metamorphosis, the Mechians, Big Bad Bosses, Thirst for Conquest, Shattering the Limit, Nightmare, and Transform. Okay. So I think those are all the main cards that people will care about. Um, are these guys... Yo, I swear we had these in the game. 
I, I, I don't know, okay, for this Goku and Vegeta, I thought we had both of them in on Global already. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, There's a lot of other cards that I really didn't talk too much about. Oh, there's also this Kaioken Goku. My bad, didn't want to forget about him. Pure Saiyan's category, key plus 2. HP, attack, and defense plus 30%. And his passive is Piccolo's power, attack plus 40%, plus additional key plus 3, attack and defense plus 50%, when HP is 70% or below. So, not the most exciting card, but... um. I believe he's also free to play. But there you go, guys. Those are all the new cards that are dropping on Global within the next couple of days. And the ones to take note of, of course, are LR Bardock, um, <laughs> brand new physical Monica, um, Lord Slug is solid as well, and of course the Awakenings for the Gohan, the Piccolo Jr., the Chi Chi, who's going to be a World Tournament reward. And uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys are excited for them. Let me know which one you're the most hyped about. For me personally, I'm actually really excited about this Awakening for Tech Gohan because I've wanted it for quite some time and I can't wait to throw him on my Super Tech team. Aside from that, LR Bardock is hype, but I'm not summoning for him, so I'm not going to have him anytime soon. <laughs> and that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys found the video useful. And as always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And as always, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. <laughs>